And so I think it makes more sense to talk about when we'll build systems that can do capability X or Y or Z rather than, you know, when we kind of like fuzzily cross this one mile marker. It's not like, like AGI is also not an ending. It's much more of a... OpenAI just unveiled a breakthrough that might send shivers down your spine or maybe get your neurons firing with excitement. Their latest announcement hints at achieving artificial general intelligence, a level of AI that could mimic human intelligence and understanding. What does this mean for the future of technology and society as a whole? Let's explore this mind-blowing development. OpenAI Breakthrough OpenAI's founding mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. This mission statement underlines the company's commitment to developing advanced AI technologies that can have a positive impact on society. Artificial general intelligence is a type of AI that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a broad range of tasks, much like a human can. Unlike narrow AI, which is designed for specific tasks like playing chess or recognizing faces, AGI has the flexibility to perform various tasks and solve different kinds of problems. This would make AGI incredibly useful in many areas, from healthcare and education to finance and beyond. The idea behind developing AGI is to create a system that can help solve complex problems that are beyond the capabilities of current AI technologies. AGI could potentially revolutionize many fields by providing insights and solutions that are currently out of reach. For example, in medicine, AGI could analyze vast amounts of data to find new treatments for diseases. In environmental science, it could help develop strategies to combat climate change more effectively. Now, OpenAI has introduced a five-level road to AGI. This is a framework designed to map the journey towards achieving artificial general intelligence, where AI systems reach and surpass human intelligence across a wide range of tasks. This roadmap outlines five distinct levels of AI capabilities, helping to clarify the progression and future potential of AI technology. At the first level, we have conversational AI. This is the stage where AI systems are capable of engaging in human-like dialogue. These AI models can understand and respond to natural language, making them useful for customer service, personal assistance, and more. Currently, we are in this phase with systems like ChatGPT that can hold conversations, answer questions, and assist with various tasks through text-based interactions. Conversational AIs are proficient at understanding context, providing relevant information, and maintaining coherent discussions. The second level introduces reasoners. At this stage, AI systems evolve to solve basic problems using reasoning skills comparable to a human with a doctorate, though without the aid of external tools. Reasoners can analyze complex information, draw logical conclusions, and provide solutions based on their understanding. They can tackle more advanced tasks, such as interpreting scientific data, solving mathematical problems, and offering strategic advice. However, they still rely on pre-existing knowledge and cannot yet interact with the physical world or perform tasks independently. Moving to the third level, we encounter agents. These AI systems are capable of performing tasks on behalf of their users for extended periods. Agents go beyond passive information providers. They actively carry out instructions, manage projects, and make decisions within a defined scope. For instance, an agent might handle scheduling, manage emails, or conduct research autonomously. This level of AI can be highly useful in automating routine tasks, increasing efficiency, and freeing up time for users to focus on more critical activities. The fourth level is innovators. At this stage, AI systems contribute to new inventions and drive innovation. Innovators possess creative capabilities, allowing them to develop original ideas, design new products, and solve unprecedented problems. They can participate in research and development processes, offering insights and solutions that push the boundaries of current technology and knowledge. AI innovators could work alongside human inventors and scientists, accelerating the pace of innovation and discovery across various fields, including medicine, engineering, and environmental science. The fifth and final level is organizational AI. This represents the pinnacle of AI development, where systems can perform the work of an entire organization. Organizational AI can manage complex operations, make strategic decisions, 
and execute tasks across all levels of a business or institution. These AI systems can handle everything from administrative duties to high-level executive functions, coordinating multiple activities simultaneously and ensuring seamless operation. At this level, AI could theoretically run companies, governments, or other large entities with minimal human intervention, optimizing efficiency and productivity. The progression through these five levels indicates a gradual shift from AI as a tool for communication to AI as an independent decision-making entity capable of driving innovation and managing complex systems. Each step brings new capabilities and challenges, including ethical considerations, security risks, and the need for robust regulatory frameworks to ensure responsible development and deployment. As we move towards higher levels of AI sophistication, the potential benefits are enormous. Enhanced productivity, groundbreaking innovations, and the ability to tackle global challenges like climate change and disease are just a few possibilities. However, it also raises questions about the future of work, data privacy, and the need for human oversight to ensure that AI systems are used for the greater good. How close are we to AGI? OpenAI is currently making significant progress in the field of artificial intelligence. They are currently at what might be considered the first level of AI development, but are rapidly advancing toward the second level. Recently, the company showcased a research project using GPT-4 that demonstrated human-like reasoning skills. This hints that OpenAI could soon reach what is sometimes referred to as the reasoner's level of AI, where the system can think and reason more like a human. But how close does this bring OpenAI to achieving artificial general intelligence? The truth is, we don't know. AGI refers to an AI that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks at a level comparable to a human being. While OpenAI's advancements are impressive, they haven't yet defined exactly what reaching AGI will look like or how to measure it. The term AGI isn't clearly defined in any specific list of levels or milestones. For example, if we think about levels of AI development, level five might be described as AI that can perform the work of an entire organization. If AI reaches this point, would that be considered AGI? Or perhaps level four, where AI could aid in significant scientific discoveries or inventions, like curing cancer, might be the mark of AGI. Alternatively, could there be a level six that we haven't yet imagined? Another concept that comes into play is artificial superintelligence, ASI, which OpenAI has discussed. ASI would be an AI system that surpasses the intelligence of all humans combined. This is a step beyond AGI and raises even more questions about the future of AI development. Where does ASI fit into this five-tiered scale of AI progression? OpenAI's progress shows they are advancing toward more sophisticated and capable AI systems. However, defining the exact moment when AI becomes AGI is still unclear. There are many benchmarks and milestones to consider, and each step brings us closer to more powerful AI. But whether AGI is at level four, level five, or some future level six remains to be seen. What we do know is that OpenAI is pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. The demonstration of GPT-4's human-like reasoning is a significant step. Still, there are many challenges and unknowns on the path to AGI and beyond. As AI continues to evolve, the definitions and milestones may also change, reflecting new understandings and capabilities. For now, we watch and wait as OpenAI and other researchers strive to create the next generation of intelligent systems. Google the current state of AI. OpenAI's rivals at Google DeepMind recently published a research paper that presents a different way of thinking about the progress of AI. Their ladder of AI progress has distinct stages, each representing a different level of capability. Unlike OpenAI's focus, which sometimes includes AI doing the work of an entire organization, Google DeepMind's stages focus on specific levels of performance in individual tasks. Emerging as the current level of many AI systems, including today's chatbots like GPT-4 and earlier versions. At this stage, AI can perform tasks based on patterns it has learned from large datasets, but its capabilities are still quite limited. These systems can have conversations, answer questions, and even generate creative content, 
but they are not yet highly reliable or versatile in complex real-world applications. At the competence stage, AI would be able to perform tasks with a higher degree of reliability and understanding. This would involve better handling of more complex queries, fewer errors, and the ability to integrate knowledge from different areas to provide more accurate and useful outputs. An AI at the expert level would be comparable to a human expert in a specific field. It could solve complex problems, make sophisticated decisions, and provide deep insights. For instance, an AI expert in medicine could diagnose diseases and recommend treatments with high accuracy. The virtuoso stage goes beyond expert. AI at this level would perform tasks not just with expertise, but with creativity and innovation. It would not only solve problems, but also find new ways to approach them, much like a master artist or scientist who pushes the boundaries of their field. Superhuman is the highest stage in Google DeepMind's ladder. AI at this level would perform a wide range of tasks better than any human. This includes tasks that humans can do, as well as tasks that are beyond human ability, such as decoding thoughts or predicting future events with high accuracy. It represents a level of capability that is far superior to the best human performance. According to Google DeepMind researchers, no AI has yet surpassed the emerging stage. While today's AI can impress us with its ability to generate text, recognize images, and even drive cars, it still has significant limitations. These systems lack true understanding and often make mistakes that a human would not. They are also prone to issues like bias and can struggle with tasks that require deep comprehension or context. The research paper suggests that while current AI is powerful, there is still a long way to go before reaching the higher stages of competence, expertise, virtuosity, and superhuman capability. Each of these stages represents not just an increase in power, but also a shift in how AI systems learn, understand, and interact with the world. The journey towards higher stages of AI progress is filled with challenges. Achieving true competence and expertise in AI will require advances in understanding context, learning from fewer examples, and integrating knowledge across different domains. Moving beyond virtuoso and superhuman levels will involve even greater breakthroughs, such as developing AI that can think creatively, innovate independently, and surpass human limitations. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.